that you don't have to use a water bottle like this and it doesn't have to be clear but this works well so you can see what's going on mm -hmm. um, we can build a tiered filtration system right just like this but inside this you could take this with you if you're traveling you can put it in your backpack or something like that the first thing we need to do is get the bottom off the first layer in here if you have it is going to be some type of cloth right so I would put in um, a piece of a shirt I could cut that and stick it in here you could use a piece of your socks if you had extra clothes um, if you have cotton balls those are what we use today cotton balls work really good so that plugs up the very bottom of it. The next thing we'll do is add some of this charcoal. Yeah, good question. So the next thing we'll do, I'm just gonna pull it out of here so we don't have to walk over back over the beach, is take a layer of sand, right? I wouldn't want to use sand that had salt water on it. Okay. I do not want to introduce salt into this system. Because then it would just make it dirty. Mm -hmm. If I ran it through enough times, you'll eventually rinse that salt water out and then it's going to be good to drink. But if I can keep salt out of my system, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. Right. And then the last layer I could put on here, if there was somewhere that I had access to a little bit bigger stones or rocks or pebbles, I would use those. As a matter of fact, <laughs> So we'll take some of these as our next layer, like that, and then my very top layer I'm going to use, again, just something to start that filtering process. I don't want to spill into my, my Ziploc bag, right? I want to try and avoid cross-contaminating any of that, if at all possible. That was that. Right? And that's what we're getting out of it. Is that